Welcome back to my channel. So I am headed on a walking tour in Tijuana. I booked me myself a tour. I thought that it was gonna be very interesting. Maybe I can learn something, but I'm very excited to do this tour. I love learning new things, so I'm very excited to see what will come out of this tour. Um, this tour specifically cost $40, so nothing crazy. It's a two hour, two hour and a half walk. Um, so I think it's worth it and I am excited to see what we find. Um, I also did want to mention some of the prices that I paid for yesterday's adventure um, at the cafe. Uh, I paid 50 pesos for that verde latte, which uh, comes out to like less than $3. Um, so pretty good price. Uh, my breakfast at the yogurt place, it came out to $13, $14. Um, and I gave a tip as well. So for two burritos and a side of beans, it was $13. Eh. I wouldn't say it's like super inexpensive, um, but I wouldn't say it's expensive either. And then I did end up going to a third recommended location, which was Blue Star. Um, it's kind of like a bar. I got there and there was nobody there. It was just me. And then uh, another person came later on. So not super busy. It was a Thursday night. I don't know. But I did enjoy a nice cold michelada while I was watching the sunset. And uh, it's simple moments like those that just make my life so worth it so worthwhile and makes my heart just feel so full so i love little things like that it was uh, a kawama so it was i think the equivalent of two beers maybe maybe three um it came out to 150 pesos which is about less than ten dollars so it's decent it was a decent price but yeah, I am ready to go on this tour and I can't wait for you guys to see how it goes. So let's go, vamonos. So I just finished the tour and it was a long walk, but I am hungry now. So we are gonna go get some food. I am starving. Let's go eat. Ugh. 
Yesterday I went to do a walking tour in Tijuana. I uh, learned a lot of interesting historical facts about Tijuana and it just made me love this place even more just to know its history. Walking around just made me realize how much Tijuana has to offer and I hope you guys saw that in everything that I filmed. Um, I liked the tour. It was a $40 tour and it was about two hours and a half. Our tour guide, her name was Mariana and she was amazing. She was super kind and, and uh, it really sounded like she knew her stuff. So I really enjoyed my tour with her and I would recommend her for you guys if you ever if you're ever out here in Tijuana and you want to get a tour, I would highly recommend her for you guys. I found her on Airbnb um, experiences, but um, I think her her official business goes by uh, Nana in Tijuana. Um, after that, I ended up going to get some food at this place called La Selva. It was really good food. Um, I, I, it was just so tasty. And the drink that I had was a Prosecco drink. So that was very tasty as well. I love champagne, Prosecco, anything bubbly. That's my kind of drink. Um, and the view was amazing because it was right next to the ocean. As I was walking back home, the sun was setting. So I just stopped for a few minutes to watch the sunset and then I headed back home. But it's so lively out here, just a lot of people out, swimming, enjoying the sunset, talking, jogging, running, eating, just so much life out here. So I really enjoyed my day yesterday. Today it is 1.30 and at 4 I have made a reservation to do some wine testing out here. I'm so excited. I love wine as well. And I'm excited to learn uh, the growth of vineyards that are here in Baja California. Um, so I'm excited to take you guys with me. Uh, this whole morning I was just doing a bunch of work, a bunch of like editing and whatnot. Um, so I didn't really do much. But before I go to this wine tasting, I do want to go to another spot that they recommended uh, to eat some sushi. Um, so I am excited for that and I am going to bring you guys along with me. So let's go eat some sushi and drink some amazing wine. Let's go. Vamanos. <laughs> Thank you. 
tasting and now we are going to eat some food um, he told me that the chef here is Argentino so I'm excited to see what they come up with um, he said he's gonna bring me a pasta so I'm excited let's see what we get but this experience has been amazing it really has um, I highly recommend it to everyone. Max was just so kind, so, so, so nice, so informative. Um, and made me feel like home. So, highly recommend it here. yesterday and I'm gonna say it's my second wine tasting but this one by far was such an amazing experience I have nothing but great reviews to talk about when it comes to this business that I found on Airbnb the person that was doing the wine tasting his name is Max he is a co-owner along with a chef an Argentinian chef in this beautiful restaurant in Tijuana and I was just blown away by not only his restaurant but by everything that I learned 
in this wine tasting. I know very little about wine tasting. I know there's red, white, rosé. I know that, you know, there's different types of grapes. Um, I know that with white wine, you eat it with fish and with dark wine, with, with red wine, you eat it with meat. You know, I know little things here and there. Red wine, you drink it room temperature and white wine you drink it cold so little things here and there but i learned so much more in my time that i had with max and i want to give a huge shout out to him because from the get-go he made me feel like family he made it was one of those experiences where i felt like we were family and a lot of i will say a lot of mexicans give you that generosity that feeling when you first meet them but not all so the fact that i had this experience and he made me feel like that is a 10 out of 10. i love experiences like that there's nothing like it um but yes i did learn a lot about wine i still have a lot to learn about wine you can't learn everything in just two hours but if you're someone who it doesn't matter if you don't know anything, if you're very experienced. This is, Max is a man who will make you feel comfortable, will give you an amazing time, and will answer any questions you have about wine. And he will do his very best to keep you entertained, to keep you happy, and to keep the ambiance going. After my wine tasting, I did four different wines all from Baja, California. I ended up eating at his restaurant as well. Not mandatory, not necessary, but <laughs> as I was there, I could smell the food that they were cooking. So I was like, oh my God, this smells so good, I'm getting hungry. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, have dinner here. And so I told him, you know, I eat fish, I eat seafood, but no meat besides that, no animal besides that, um, and everything else I eat. So he ended up making me a pasta that was very delicious. And this pasta was homemade, which is, I've never tasted homemade pasta and I can't go back. Like I want to eat homemade pasta all the time now. <laughs> and he put it in this cheese barrel and just surrounded the pasta of cheese and then put it on my plate and it was just delicious it was so good and to end the night he gave me a dry espresso which was one of the best coffees i've ever tasted it was so delicious the wine tasting comes with the tasting of four different wines and a coffee afterwards. So the only thing I paid for was my pasta. Um, and he also gave me a bit of a discount on the wine that I took home. But if you guys are ever in Tijuana, I highly recommend you guys go check out Max and his restaurant. Um, they are open from like eight, to 10 uh, most days so I will make sure to leave uh, his contact whatever I have down below in the description box but highly recommended had so much fun I love the experience highly highly recommended thank you Max you can do anything.